Hi there everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Kylie Pertell and I'm going to show you a new technique that I've been using with brushes and stencils. Uh, so this is a really fun way to make really great fun bright backgrounds for your cards as you can see by these panels that I've already prepared. I was having a blast making them and I couldn't stop doing it. Now, at the end of July I was in the UK for the Happy Little Stampers craft retreat and we were doing brush show demos on the first day and everyone was having great fun. Darnell had a play. We all know Darnell and she was sprinkling brush shows over her stencils and the effects were fantastic so I couldn't wait to get home and have a go at it myself. So what I'm going to do here is show you uh, a few things. First I'm going to um, place this stencil over some watercolour paper and then I'm going to have some spare everyday normal card stock that we use for our cards. I've got about a 350 GSM white card stock that I use. It's quite heavy. And I'm going to have a piece of that to the side for when I'm finished with this watercolour part. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I've placed my stencil over my watercolour paper. And for this one, I'm going to try and make a bit of a rainbow effect as you could see with those previously made panels. So I'm starting with my brush shows uh, in the order of turquoise and then I laid down some purple. Next up is lime green, which I'm not a green person, but that lime green is a sensational color. Wow, it's quite amazing. Next is sunburst lemon. And again, I'm not a yellow person, but that sunburst lemon is brilliant. Such a beautiful color. Orange goes on next. I'm only tapping a small amount of the crystals over the stencil, just making sure that I get a, enough just to cover the holes in the stencil. I don't need too many. And then last of all, I'm going to tap on crimson. This is one of my favorite colors that I now have in the brush shows. It is an amazing color. It's red, it's bright, it's vibrant. Now, if you've just purchased brush shows or you're not sure how we're doing this, well, you just use a pokey tool to pop a little hole in the top of your, your tub. You don't open them. You, you don't need to undo the seal and open them completely. You just poke a hole so you can sprinkle the brush shows because a little goes a very long way. Now, here comes the magic. Just using a mister and spraying over that stencil. Don't need too much water, but enough just to get it going. And sometimes it takes practice. Lift the stencil off nice and quickly. Now I'm going to take my ordinary cardstock and I'm going to flip that stencil over and use up the rest of that, of that ink that I've sprayed over that stencil because it's you just don't want to waste it. And it comes up with even like that effects just great in itself. So, I mean, they're not perfect, but they're not meant to be. That's what watercolouring is all about. That's what I love about it. So I'll just show you a few more examples of with a couple more stencils. And you can see how easy it is. All this is is just a bit of practice. Some stencils may not work. They might be, they might have like the everything's too close together you need a little bit of space on your stencils so some um, negative and positive areas for you to work with if it's too open it's not going to work so much but it's still a good way to create some even if you had say a large stencil just say of an aperture for a butterfly that would work lovely and you could just make sure it all drips down and looks really pretty so here I'm just going to use ultramarine brushes and just use one colour just to show you that it can still work beautifully just using one colour. Because the brushes are so amazing with the, the different colours and bits and pieces they have in each tub. You just never know what's going to happen when you sprinkle it out. So that, that's ultramarine, that's a great blue, great colour beautiful when we use the um, brush o starch and cling wrap technique it um, makes a great panel for things like underwater and ocean scenes and blue skies it's 
just beautiful. So you notice I didn't flip that stencil but I would always keep an extra, even if it's watercolour paper or just some, your scrap, your off cuts, your scraps of your, your card stock, just have it on hand and flip those stencils over and uh, you'll, you'll have backgrounds coming out of the wazoo because you can't, st it's addictive, seriously, you can't stop making them. This time I've just gone with three colours um, and I'm sorry, I forgot to write these down, but I think it is uh, purple lemon and orange I think I used here so just three colors so I've given you some examples of obviously we've used one two three four five six six colors on the first one one color on the second one and three colors on the third stencil here comes the magic when you spray it with water oh I've used red red up the top orange yellow and orange sorry about that and that's a, a very nice what would you call that like a tequila sunrise a very tropical color putting those ones together so I'm going to flip this stencil I love those colors together your hands are going to get dirty doing this sort of stuff if you prefer to prefer to wear gloves do that before you start because your hands are going to be multicolored and stenciled and lots of fun and isn't that beautiful a real just so easy I've, I've now got five or six backgrounds that are just ready to go so here you have it I've just done that these are all the examples uh, use whatever stencils you have just give it a go and see how they work out don't forget they don't have to be perfect but be careful with the amount of water that you do use you don't want it running everywhere and just remember to lift your stencil off nice and quickly here's a card that I made using that first example I've embossed the sentiment from the happy little stampers fun birthday sentiment set which you can purchase at the shop or the details should be coming up on your screen thank you very much for watching and I can't wait to find a new technique to show you especially using brushos see ya